What's going on, everybody? Different type of YouTube video today. I'm on my computer. As you can tell, quality is kind of low. Um, I have a Q&A for you guys. So on my Instagram a couple of days ago, I posted a Q&A, and a couple of my friends decided to ask me some questions. So here we go. First question by my boy Rodamil. He asks, are you idolizing from someone's car or just sending it on your build? I wouldn't say I'm idolizing from anybody's car per se i definitely am taking inspiration from other builds and other enthusiasts that have the same car as me but i'm also still making it my own and still doing the things that i want to it and just you know kind of making it different but you can't make it that different if you know what i mean i'm, I'm still I guess you can say my car looks like a lot of other 8th gen size that you may see on like Instagram or whatever, especially since I have the RPF ones on there. It's, it's really just OEM plus right now, but I definitely am, you know, doing my own thing with it, doing my own tasteful mods, how I like my um, car to look per se and ride and what I want it to do. You know, I, I'm on the street, you know, I hit the track sometimes, you know, I want to do both. I want to be able to always do both always just daily my car even when it is turbo always just daily my car or just take it to the track whatever i want to do all right that leads us into the second question by j spaced out he asks craftsworks or turbo um for a while i've been bouncing between both um honestly i think the only reason i've been bouncing between both is because Craftsworks is more of like a bolt-on, you know, it's supercharged, so it's more of like a bolt-on kind of mod, like bolt it on, you know, put a tune on it. It's, it's forced induction, yeah, but I think that's just the easier route to go for boost. I think personally with me, like my decision, what I want to do now, I definitely want to go turbo. I definitely want to hear the turbo noise and the blow off valve all of that i want everything from a turbo i want that i don't know it's just unexplainable and i've never really like experienced a turbo car but i think i definitely will go turbo it honestly just looks way better in the engine bay as well all right so nl underscore finesse kit asks what's in the near future for it so i already said i definitely want to go turbo in the near future as of right now, I think I'm going to just stay full bolt-ons, keep it clean, keep it as a daily. It is my only car. So right now, I'm going to keep it as is, but definitely FD2 conversion in the future and turbo build for sure. With my turbo build, I kind of want to stay conservative. So 400 horsepower, 450 max. I don't want to you know, get too up in there to where I got to do the transmission and all that i, I kind of want to just keep it tame keep it nice keep it clean but yeah that's that's what's in it for the future j space style has like four questions he asked me so shout out to you bro you definitely making this q a vid definitely a little more interesting with these questions you got some good questions next question by him is what's the next thing you'd buy for this so <laughs> i already got some skunk two headers coming in the mail and my clutch seems to be, you know, going out a bit. So it's slipping a little bit and stuff. So I, I got a stage one clutch coming in from action clutch as well. Other than that, probably just an e-tune. And like I said, I'm gonna just keep it full bolt-ons for a while. Unless, until I like come up with the money. Well, I have the money, but until like I want to spend the money that I need to spend for a turbo build and FD2 conversion and all of that. J Space Style also asks, if you could trade this for something of equal value, would you and what is it? Ah, that's a tough one. Would I trade this? I the answer is no. I would not trade this car. I think it's a great bang for buck in its price range. I think the only thing I would think of that's equal value is maybe like a TL type S or nah, maybe a TSX type S, my bad. Uh what else? Probably like a 
E46, 330i, or like a 350z. But I don't even think I would never trade it in for one of those vehicles. If anything, I would just keep my car and buy that second vehicle. But yeah, that's pretty much the cars I'm really like looking into right now. 350z, G35, E46, 330i. Um, there's not really much, to be honest. Uh, I'm not really looking, per se. Another question by him is favorite mod on the car. Um, definitely the steering wheel. That shit just feels so comfortable while I'm driving. And it just, it feels like a brand new car with the, honestly, I'd say the entire interior, my head unit with the Apple CarPlay, the steering wheel, the shifter, the short shifter, even like everything about the interior of the car just makes me feel good i got the headliner done in suede or black alcantara whatever um all the pillars are painted black like definitely the interior of the car is where my favorite mods are obviously i like all the performance mods and how the car looks but i'm in the interior most of the time anyways and that's what i like you know like i made it my own basically black everything steering wheel apple carplay like right it's the perfect daily like you i couldn't ask for anything better thank you for watching the vid it was a short q a only like seven questions i'd say were asked um yeah i'm gonna be doing more of these so hopefully more of you guys from youtube and anybody who follows my instagram will participate and just Ask me anything you want to ask me, to be honest, about the build or about anything car related. Honestly, I really don't mind. I like doing these. These are fun. I'm definitely going to do more. Thank you for watching.